number is 800-259. Where is that number, guys? I left <laughs> set that here on the side here. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Let's go to uh, Noble Patriot in Oregon. Noble Patriot. Go ahead. How you doing? Fine. What do you want to say? Yeah, I made some comments on the InfoWars regarding the situation and was blocked. So how do you guys stand for the First Amendment if you don't stand for mine? Uh, what was what was blocked? Go ahead and say it. We're not uh, trying to censor anything. It might be something that... Uh, I'm not trying to censor anything. I can't make no more comments on InfoWars. Well, what did you I say? Did you use some uh, language or did you threaten to kill somebody? Nope. What was it? Well, go ahead and say it. We're not censoring you right now. Say it. Okay. Well, I said that the only way to take this country back is by force, and all you guys with your cardboard signs are wasting your time. Okay. Well, I, I let me let me tell you what. You get taken off when you call for actions of violence, and let me tell you something. We didn't have to shoot them to get our rights back. What it took was people standing up and facing them down. I was there. And you don't need to start taking cheap shots at us or cheap shots at the people who were there. There is a way that we can face this down and we can do it peacefully. You stare the people in the eye and you walk right up to them. That's what we did there. We did it in mass. We did it publicly. That's the way to stand these people down. You can stand up for your rights on a jury. You can stand against these unlawful orders that are given to you by a judge. You can stand against unlawful laws that are created by these out of control bureaucracies. There's a way to do this. And one of the hopes that I have and one of the things that made me so optimistic, so excited, was to see that we could have taken back those cattle peacefully. We can take back our rights. We don't have to be cattle. We can take back the cattle. We can take this country back, and we can do it. It takes resolve, and it can be done peacefully. If they fire first, fine. We don't need to start shooting. It's not time to start shooting yet. Let's go to uh, Diana in Oklahoma. Diana, go ahead. Hi, um, a first time caller, and um, I've been listening to the InfoWars for uh, a good half the amount of time you guys have been on here, and I find that you guys are doing a great job. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to call in was I was listening to um, a, a radio show called The Wilco Majority. Somebody called in talking about that there was a an exact same situation going on in New Mexico, in the south central part of New Mexico, BLM going in and taking some of these cattle. I don't know if anybody else has talked about this. I don't know uh, where this gentleman got his source, but I thought it would be worth letting somebody else know and passing the word along. Okay, um, and that, I, that's somewhere in uh, New Mexico. Do you have a uh, city? South central New Mexico. No, I don't. I. It's very, it was very, it was, very limited on information, um, and I just uh, I just thought that if if anybody else uh, knows anything that's going on, it might be you guys or somebody else might be able to uh, phone in and, and give some information about it. But um, I just thought that that was worth mentioning. But um, but I also wanted to talk about um, your guys's. Dave, you, David Knight, thank you so much for being out there in Nevada, and, and the whole thing is just blood oh, boiling. Um, no, no, no. Thank, uh, thank you for supporting the operation. Thank you for getting the word out. You know, th there were so many people that were there. A lot of them came up and said that they'd heard about it through InfoWars, through reporting here. Um, and th special thanks to the guy in the InfoWars t-shirt that gave me some water after I'd been talking for a long time. We really appreciate the support of everybody, especially the prayers. I saw a lot of comments where people were praying for this. This was resolved peacefully. And just as I told the caller before, we need to stand these people down. We are in the right here. And we need to just understand what's going on, understand the scam that they're operating. And we will have the moral authority and the backbone to stand up to them. We, we have power in numbers. Yes. And I have, I have been saying that for years and years and years. And for the longest time, I was always looked at as some kind of you know, person who has these wild dreams of something. And it's, but it's true. If, if we do not hang together, we assuredly hang separately. Absolutely. And that's the bottom line. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, you're talking about this going on in New Mexico. I've got an article right here where it's going on in Texas. Red River Rumble, BLM wants to seize 90,000 acres of Texas ranchers' land. This is uh, from a site called misguidedchildren.com. This is going on everywhere. It, the BLM is doing this everywhere. The guy who is there, even though he, was, he, he is a minion for Harry Reid, his father, however, has connections to the mineral industries. They are trying to loot this country. They're not trying to manage public lands. They're trying to turn them over to the corporate elite, to the Chinese. 
That's what's really going on. You need to wake up. This is part of Agenda 21. But there's a broader picture here. There's a broader picture that applies to things like Obamacare. There's a broader picture that applies to things like the income tax. You've got the IRS now saying that they're going to apply outstanding, what they assume to be outstanding tax debts to children. They can go back decades and say, we think that your parents owed some tax, so we're now going to apply to you, even if we don't have the records. Things that are decades old. When you start letting them ignore the law, whether it's a statute of limitations or whatever it is, Katie, bar the door. The gates are open. We need to stand up and say, there is a law in this land. And you swore allegiance to it. And we're not going to have regulation and taxation without representation. That's what's going on. We're going to be right back with more of your calls about what's going on there. If anyone has any updates about the situation at the Bundy Ranch today, we heard a report that they're moving now. Please call us with that. We'll be right back. 800-259-9231. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and to truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. We've been talking this entire show about the situation in Nevada at the Bundy Ranch, what the BLM is doing, what it tells us about the larger situation, about uh, government agencies that are out of control, that can rewrite laws, that can take away all of our rights, that can declare martial, that can act in martial law without declaring it in any given area. That can say that you no longer have free speech if you step outside your car will immediately arrest you. Is that the kind of America that we want to live in? Now, I've seen people say that this is a PSYOP, that this whole thing that happened on Saturday was a PSYOP. I truly believe that the sheriff showing up 
and saying, that's it, we give up, you can go back on the land. That was a PSYOP. That was trying to get everybody to go home and say, oh, that's fine, it's over. What was not a PSYOP, what they did not expect, what they did not engineer, was for us to all go over there and take the cattle back. They were caught by surprise, and they were stood down. They were stood down by people who were not pointing guns at them. We had people who did have guns. And the presence of firearms is a deterrence to a tyrannical government. Make no mistake about it. That's why this was not Tiananmen Square. It wasn't just that we had men on horses. It was that there were also people there with guns, and they would have used them if they had started shooting. It would have been a disaster, and it will be a disaster for the federal government if they use force in this situation. We need to start watching them like hawks. We're taking your calls. Let's go to uh, Mark in California. Mark? Hey, David, how you doing? Doing fine. What you got? Good. Hey, um, there's a lot of stuff floating around on Facebook right now that's real important for everybody that needs to pay attention to this. Now, I, I you know, was down there at the ranch with you, David Knight, and your crew. Fantastic. Thank you. You guys did an awesome job. I want, I want to say that right now. You guys well, thank you. got some glory in you. Yeah. Well, thanks for um, going, but tell, tell us what you're saying right now. Right now, what they're trying to get out across the, the message to everybody right now is, is that don't trust anything that you're seeing on Facebook except for what is on their page. We support the bunny thing. Then okay. also, um, um, also beware of roadblocks and inspection points. That's what we're also gathering right now, that people are they're concerned about people showing up that may be armed and they're trying to possibly stop them. Oh, really? There. Really? What are the yeah. carry? What are the carry laws there in Nevada? I thought they had uh, open carry. Uh, yes, yes, but we're talking about California. We're talking oh, about oh, okay, oh, okay, to. okay. Roadblocks in California. People that would be headed to that. I understand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of people that are heading out to this thing, and they're trying to stop people from even getting to the location in the first place to even support this thing. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is, is that people are spreading around on Facebook right now. They're talking about the fact that you know they're taking down everybody's license plate numbers, everybody that goes and supports this thing. They've got a team out that's you know basically documenting every single person that shows up. So now people are are afraid to even go out there to support this thing. Let me and, address. You know, let me address that. You know, because I saw that as well. Look, folks, if you haven't gotten the memo yet, you're being watched. You're being recorded. They know everything about you already. Don't be cowed down by that. Get in their face. That's what we did there. People stood up to the tyranny. If, you know, if, this, if that's the takeaway that we get from the Snowden documents, that we've got we've to gotta watch ourselves, we've got to censor ourselves, we've got to uh, shut our, 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 any protest, any, anything that we do and say that uh, would criticize the government, if that's the takeaway, we've lost. This country is lost. When they're doing the wrong thing, you have to stand up. And when they're watching you, that's all the more reason to stand up. Thank you so much, Mark in California. We've got a couple more callers I want to try to get to. Worth in North Carolina. Go ahead, Worth. Hey, hey, David, hey, I just wanted to commend you and Alex and the job you guys are doing. I'm here in North Carolina. I'll tell you, I've been glued to my computer all weekend. I'm wanting to go out there. Worth, hang on a second. We're going we're gonna to go into overdrive. We'll come right back to you. That's it for the regularly scheduled show. We'll be back tonight on InfoWars Nightly News at 7 o'clock. Hang on for those of you who are watching on the internet. We'll be right back with Overdrive. We're going to go to these callers. We've got Worth in North Carolina, Richard in Oregon, Chad in California, Stacy in Wisconsin. We'll be right back. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139.